get this guy. What's up, bud? He's had pull number three. What is up, Billings fam? Welcome back. What what a day. What a day we have had. If you were not with us for the last video, which was earlier today, you need to go check that out right now because <clears throat> I can't even put into words how amazing it was. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm losing my voice. I've been so excited all day. Um, don't mind all the construction back there in that little uh, screen house you see. We got so many cool things going. We were breaking ground in our pond. Just awesome, awesome, awesome stuff coming up. But anyways, back to the main point of this. If you didn't catch last video, let me fill you in. We went down to the pond that we always go to. We were gonna clean it up and feed the geese that were there because there's trash everywhere. When we first got there, met these two really cool kids. They were catching things and they gave us some. So we, they gave us a tadpole. They gave us a really cool little painted turtle. Looks like his shell is, is in some need of help. So we're gonna take care of that as well. But we caught a crayfish, crawfish, whatever you want to call it. We caught a bunch of tadpoles and then the coolest of all, we caught these two little turtles that I've never seen before. They were babies, they were tiny, definitely not native around here. We've done a little bit of research and it looks like they are something called a cooter which is just crazy cool and the colors really pop. So we did take them out of this little bucket. We don't want them with anybody else. They're, they're way too small. So we're gonna build them their own really cool DIY habitat. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Quickly guys, in the meantime, I don't wanna take up too much time talking. We're gonna put all these other guys just now in this big 30 gallon thing we have for now. Fred actually used to live in that temporarily. So we're gonna move all these guys in there while we can get something really big put together for them. It's gonna be cool. We're gonna basically theme it around the pond. I'm excited. Let me show you if you guys haven't seen them. I got everything right here. Look at here's the painted turtle guy. What's up, bud? He's super cool, but his shell on the bottom and top are definitely in some need of help. So we're gonna look into that and see what we can do for him and take care of him. Oh, they're so slimy. They're hard to catch. There's a bunch of them though. Look at this. Tadpoles, they're huge too. They're definitely gonna be bullfrogs and then the crayfish is in there as well. So I'm gonna clean this real quick. We got some uh, of the pond pebbles. We're gonna clean those off. We're gonna get this set up just temporary guys, just to give us like a, a few days to a week and we're gonna build them something really cool. So stay tuned, let's get working on that. All right, Billings fam, so we moved this down to the basement for right now. We're gonna get their little temporary home set up because we got all the power right there and this is where everybody else is, so it'll be perfect. Look guys, we got everything already. I have two or three different filters to choose from. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna go with. We got a brand new heater, it hasn't even been open. We got the light for the turtle. We got filters galore. I'm gonna, I got my own filter media if we need it, so this is perfect. So we're gonna throw something together. We are going to go back to the pond just to grab some of the water from there mostly for the little algae that's floating because the tadpoles thrive with that stuff. So we are gonna do that and we're gonna make sure to use some of Fred's water so it's all dechlorinated. Okay guys, so still messing around a little bit with what I wanna do here, but as you can see, we have a little bit of a setup like we had with Fred. If you don't remember that video, go check that out right now. That was a while ago when we first rescued Fred. We put a little DIY bin together. It was actually in this bin. So we got something similar for the turtle to bask on. And also this is gonna serve another purpose. The little tadpoles like a lot of shade so they can go right under there and hide. And the crayfish can go under there for now because he likes to kind of hide as well. So this is, I think what we're gonna do, as you can see, we just used the bricks and the old piece of tile we had laying around. For the filter, I think I'm gonna go with this internal filter. I think it's the best option here because the water's not gonna be too high. So I think this will be the best. It is a very powerful one which I think is also perfect for in here. So I'm pretty sure this is what I'm gonna do, but we are gonna mess around a little bit with it. All right guys, so we got the little uh, cave area thing, basking station in place, we got the filter. We are gonna go with that one, I'm pretty sure. So next thing I wanna do is I wanna use some of Fred and Kazoo's water and fill up this area for them, and then we'll fill the rest from the faucet and put in some conditioner. And guys, I just found out this is a great place we can put that duckweed in here. The tadpoles actually like it, and the painted turtles like it, so that's awesome, super pumped. So let's start filling this up. Fred, I gotta steal some of your water, bud. I'm sorry, I'll refill it, don't you worry. Convenient having that right there, I'll tell you that. I just filled this the other day, though. I'm gonna have to put a bunch back in. 
Guys, do me a favor, comment down below. I was thinking of taking some of the minnows and putting them in here just to add a little bit to it. Do you think maybe the painted turtle will eat them? Turtle? Did I just call him a turtle? A painted turtle or turtle. Do you think he's turtle enough for a turtle club? But do you think the uh, you think the minnows will do better in here? Because they're literally doing nothing in there except stressing everybody out. Boom! That is good. We didn't even have to use any extra water from the tap. This will be good enough. I want to kick this filter on. I want to see how this works. I haven't used this internal one before. I want to see what it does. Oh, I like it. That's a good flow right there. I really like that. This is a highly recommended filter. I think it'll do great in here with the turtle and tadpoles because they're dirty. It's going to be like a pond setting, so it's got a huge, huge intake there. So it's we got there's a sponge filter in there. There's some other uh, biological filtration in there as well. So this is going to do great. I'm, I'm pumped about that, and I like that little flow. You can play with them. Yeah. All right, guys, so I'm going to put the heater in there now. Make sure, guys, as always, hit that subscribe button. If you're enjoying what's going on, hit the like button. Hit the bell up top. There is so much more to come for this journey alone. Guys, don't forget, we found those two amazing cooters. Those things are literally the coolest things I've ever seen. That, that is a whole nother video we got coming. That'll be right after this one. We're building them a really cool habitat of their own. You don't want to miss that. Share this around as well. Let's get the heater in there. There should be just enough room from this guy. Just put that right down there. A couple other things we gotta do. I gotta throw up the little lamp for the turtle. We're gonna put it over in the corner. We do need to get the light bulb for it, so we'll grab that today. The heater's in place. Everything is on and going, looking great. We're gonna throw the duckweed in. We're gonna put these guys in, get them into their new home. I am super, super excited. Again, this is just temporary. Guys, as a reminder, I just wanna let you guys know, everything outside is finally coming together. All of these, the, the little goldfish over here, Fred and Kazoo, these new guys, they will all be moving outside into new awesome outside homes. I can't wait. It's coming up in a couple of weeks. Make sure you subscribe to that. I'm getting directions over here from Boss Lady. What's going on? Oh, she wants me to turn. It was a bad shot. So make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for that. Hey, do me a favor. Comment down below if you guys know what crawfish eat. I did read that they do need a separate home. They won't get along with everybody in here if it's a confined area. So we are going to make him his own little thing. We'll keep him in here just for a couple of days. Let's get everything together. Almost done, guys. I am so excited. This is really cool. I'll show you everybody as I put them in here. All right, Billings fam. Moment of truth. Let's get all these guys into their new home for now. New, new temporary home, remember. Look at this guy, he is so cool. So Start thinking of names, guys. So, so the shell, a little bit of damage right here. And on the bottom, it looks like right here, there's some damage too. So we will get that fixed he, up as best we can. He's so slimy. There you go, bud, go swim. He's so slimy. He's got, yeah, he had some green algae. It grows in the pond. Some of these guys actually really like it. Let's grab the little slippery tadpoles. Woo! Look at that guy, he's huge! That guy is so big. Go ahead, go swim. Not near the heater. Go that way. Yeah, go there, that's fine. Tadpole number two. Boom! And tadpole number three. Guys, my favorite. This is my favorite. Let's get this crawfish. Super, super cool looking dude. Look at this guy. He's a Look at him. That is super cool, man. He's so slimy. That is so cool. Awesome, awesome. I can't wait. We got to think of a really cool name. Listen, you know what? I'm sorry. I got a name already picked out. We're not even waiting. This dude's name is Sebastian because that's just what it has to yeah, be. Yeah, you like Sebastian? Yeah. yeah. Can you say Sebastian? Bastard. Yeah, that's his new name. What do you think? You like it? Yeah. All right. Woo! Look at him. <laughs> he looks like a lobster. It looks like a baby lobster. That is so cool. Oh, look at all the bubbles. <laughs> all right. While you guys take a look at that, I'm going to grab some duckweed. Let's put that in. Make it look more habitat-y. Habitat-ish. habitat, -ish. habitat -ish. That's a plant. Stuck. Nah, he's not stuck. He wants to sit there. Yeah. Stuck under I'm just happy we got a place for this duckweed. Boom! 
boom. Super, super cool, guys. This was an awesome DIY. We threw this whole thing together in like a half an hour and it actually came out really good. I'm impressed. There's a lot more stuff we gotta do. Yeah, you're on, don't worry, relax. You got your time on. There's a lot more we gotta do, guys. The tadpoles okay. need shade, so we're gonna have to put some things in there that they can definitely hide yeah. under. And the crawfish is gonna need his own spot. So we're gonna build that. We already have a small little 10 gallon we can throw him in, which will be great. Build him a really cool environment until he starts growing. But I'm super impressed. I can't wait to see this turtle come out. We gotta pick him a name. Don't forget, guys, Fred, and Kazoo and all of these guys and all the goldfish, they are all still going outside very, very soon. We already started breaking ground on the pond. We're gonna build some other outside habitats for these guys. So much more to come. I am beyond excited. The past day and a half of all of this has just been super crazy and so much fun. And this is why we got into this. This is why we started doing it, because we love this. We got to do a ton. I'm happy. I hope you guys had a great time. Comment down below, let me know which was your favorite part. Let me know which is your favorite of the things that we found, the tadpole, the crawfish, the turtles. Awesome, awesome stuff. Ow, you're crazy. Subscribe below, guys. Hit that bell up top so you can stay informed. Make sure you remember to, hi, to stay tuned. We got so many cool things coming. Georgie, say bye to everybody. Oh, okay. All right, guys, as always, peace.